In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to be confident on camera, even if you have no experience. Even if you're not a YouTuber, talking in front of a camera is a very important skill in many situations in life. For example, when applying for a job, many companies require you to record yourself talking in front of a camera. Now, let's be honest, talking in front of a camera is not a natural thing to do. I mean, essentially you're talking to a lens which doesn't give you feedback or reply. Fortunately, in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 practical tips how to become confident in front of a camera. Now, this first tip might seem kinda obvious, but it's one of the most important tips that I can give you, and that's practice, practice, practice because no matter what your starting point is, your first videos are always gonna be your worst videos. Now, if you're too shy to start practicing talking in front of a camera, you can do what I did a couple of months before I launched my YouTube channel, which was picking up the camera alone at home and walking around the apartment talking to the camera, whatever first came in my mind, because it didn't really matter because it was only practice. And like we all know, the more you do it, the more natural it will become. Tip number two, be yourself. I know it's very easy in the beginning to start copying how other people talk in front of the camera because you haven't found your own voice yet. But trust me, the more you're being yourself, the easier it is for you to sound natural and to be confident in front of the camera. Which leads us to tip number three, treat the camera like a person. I see so many people do the same mistake of looking into the flip out screen instead of looking directly into the lens while talking to the camera. Think about it this way, when you're talking to me, you don't look me in the forehead, but you look me directly in the eye. And when you know that you're looking directly into the lens and doing it right, that will instantly make you feel more confident in front of the camera. Tip number four, use bullet points. The reason why I prefer using bullet points instead of reading from a script word by word is that I only have to memorize the essential thing and then I can explain it with my own words and that makes me sound more natural, which makes me feel more comfortable in front of the camera. The way I use bullet points is that I write everything on my iPhone's notes app so that I can very easily check each point from my iPhone and then explain it to the camera. On the other hand, tip number five, you can also use a teleprompter if you feel that it's very hard for you to use bullet points to come up with full sentences, sort of like on the go. Because when you're using a teleprompter, you can just directly read a script word by word by reading it from the teleprompter, which will make it a lot easier for you to focus on your delivery and the way you speak. Tip number six, preparation. And what I mean by preparation is both mental and practical preparation. In mental preparation, you should go through your entire script or your bullet points word by word and read them aloud several times so that you know your topic inside out, which will make you feel more confident when you go in front of the camera and present the points. Another way to prepare is to make sure that you feel comfortable in front of the camera. Whatever it is, take a shower, do your hair, do your makeup, and make sure that you're wearing the kind of clothes that make you feel comfortable. That will instantly make you feel more secure and more self-confident. Tip number seven is don't worry about being perfect. Just press record and start talking to the camera until you get your lines nailed good enough. That's all you need, good enough. Done is better than perfect. And that way it will be a lot easier for you to sort of like get into the flow of recording the videos. And then you can always use jump cuts to cut out the parts where you messed up your lines. Tip number nine. Talk about something that you're passionate about. 
When you talk about your passion, you will automatically sound more enthusiastic and feel more confident in front of the camera because the topic that you're talking about gives you positive energy because you're already pumped about the topic. And even if you're just starting out YouTube, but you don't yet know what's the niche of your YouTube channel or what kind of content you want to create, then follow the fun and start talking about your passion. That's the easiest way for you to learn to become confident in front of a camera and also to learn YouTube because YouTube is a marathon, not a sprint. Tip number 10, don't care about what other people are thinking. For example, I started my YouTube channel in 2018, way before I knew anything about cameras, way before I knew anything about thumbnails or anything about YouTube. And that was because my desire to do what I love was much higher than my fear of failure or my fear of criticism from other people. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more, then I highly recommend that you watch either one of these videos somewhere here on the screen because I think you're gonna find it helpful as well. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.